Halkbank is one of the most recognizable brands in Turkey and the country's fifth biggest lender by assets. So the arrest of one of its senior executives in the U.S. last month sent shockwaves through the country. 47-year-old Deputy General Manager Mehmet Hakan Attila was in New York to meet investors for a planned bond issue. He was arrested before he boarded a flight back to Turkey. Attila is accused of using his position in the bank to help Turkish-Iranian gold trader Reza Zarab, who's also being held by U.S. authorities, of laundering hundreds of millions of dollars for the Iranian government. U.S. prosecutors say those actions contravened sanctions against Iran. Attila's detention sent Halkbank shares plummeting. They fell more than 14 percent on the day and have yet to recover. Halkbank has strenuously denied any wrongdoing. In a statement, it said, Our bank has not intermediated any transaction in which any prohibited party or person or goods or services have been involved. The U.S. financial system and the currency have not been used for such transactions related to the trade with that country mentioned in the allegations. The arrest has also become a diplomatic issue. Turkish Foreign Minister Mevlüt Çavuşoğlu discussed it with U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson when he visited Turkey a day after Attila's arrest. We believe and we see that this is a completely political process, including the arrest of Zarab, because former U.S. attorney Preet Bahara has close relations with FITO. The case against Halkbank certainly is serious. What remains to be seen now is whether it will be punished by U.S. authorities and how big the potential fine against it might be. If you take the, a lot of the examples of previous precedents as there has been, the fines have tended to be between 150 to uh, nearly $10 billion. So the fine can be very substantial if the American authorities believe that there has been a breach of the sanctions towards Iran. The Halk Bank case is likely to be watched closely by investors, politicians and ordinary Turks for months to come. Azhar Sukri, TRT World.